Hello, welcome back to episode 49 of our Gene Forge playthrough. We are off to continue exploring this uh, mine and sort of underground river area on our way up to the Gene Forge Fortress in the mountains. Alternatively, we can kind of figure out a path over through here, but right now this is pretty easy going. Uh, meaning we are sort of at least headed in the right direction skill level wise. We are going to see what's in here. You enter the Susha Island Mines. They are much more extensive than you expected. The Shapers must have found an unusually large supply of the magically charged crystals they use to power their research. This facility doesn't show the signs of servile looters and human invaders common to other ruins on the island. The Shapers must have done something to strongly discourage exploration here. You notice an interesting device on the floor nearby. It has two crystals on it. One tinted red and the other green. You notice that the red crystal is flashing brightly. Uh. Okay. That's not an encouraging sign. Sounds like a, a danger signal. Or base. Oh, okay, some more rough crystals. Just gonna. Any rough crystals we find here near the opening. We're just going to take and drop over here by the door. Yeah, because we do not have... Yeah, we've got five pounds. Those are like a pound each. Let's see... There's probably something nasty around here. Ah, pylons. Okay. Uh... Let's retreat for now and see what's the other way. Alright. He's cursed. That wears off pretty fast. There's some down here. Alright, we don't want to go around there just yet. Let's see if there's some way to disable the defenses without fighting them all. Here's another rough crystal. It's a bunch of stuff got slagged. Alright, uh, tightly locked. You don't have the key? Oh, we do have an unlock. Okay. We're up to four. Oh, oh no. Okay. You retreat, you retreat. To just fire around the corner. We need to read this little sign after we drop off that stack. What does this say? All right, Eastern Mines. Make sure defenses are not active before proceeding. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, what do we get? We have them spectre gloves. Okay. Oh, oh no. Alright. Uh, how do we turn the defenses off? That's the question. Okay, we got a big hit in there. Uh, alright, so they're not that strong. We want to cure the poison. Gemstones. How do we do the gemstones again? Pointy pants. So we can carry a lot of those before we get overweight. Uh, carefully proceed. Okay, so there's one right there. Let's come back. We're just going to clear out, carefully clear out as many pylons as we can that, like, once we know where they are, and we could just, like, Engage in combat. Alright. So you come here. You go there. Go here. Step around the corner. Hit him. Step around the corner. Hit him. Oh, they didn't finish him. Uh, stationary target. You should be able to hit that. Okay. Oh, whoops. This should have been our thing. Alright. Uh, 
and your turn, and your turn. Cure him. Alright. Quick save that. How did it swap over to the Sierra? I must have hit a button. Alright, so let's carefully continue exploring. Alright, wait. There's one up there. All right, retreat, retreat, retreat. We're gonna paste. Wait, I didn't. No mark. Right. There we go. All right. It's still at a range. Okay. Hit from here. Charge forward and finish it off. And, oh. Gonna go ahead and battle blessing both of you. Alright, come over here. See if we can. It's back here. All right, nothing back here. There's another pylon up here, and another in there. All right, we're just keeping our haste on. Go ahead and pick these up. And wait. Come around here. Wait. Oh, wait and wait. All right, you're at the top of the thing. Can we get two hits and finish it? There we go. Scout another crystal. All right, it's kind of a dead end. Probably gonna need to hit an essence pod. Thought I had more than that. That's a bit unfortunate. Wait, step around the corner. Hit him with the battle blessing, beast guy. Oh, there's another one. Step forward. Just to have line of sight. Just do this strategically. You can avoid getting hit by the pylons at all, assuming you're faster than them. But even if you are faster than them, you just hit combat out of turn, out of um, like start combat yourself. Oh, another lava floor scenario. I want to avoid walking over that if we can. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and uh, end combat. Get all our uh, gemstones. We may need to step back out of the mines to restock our essence since we are extremely low. Come back and get some of these gemstones later. So now we know this uh, right side quadrant is clear of pylons. We can start exploring sort of the bottom section. We'll grab these crystals as well. The nice thing about the pylons is they're stationary, so they don't give you a bunch of problems like the um, 
like the moving patrols. Oops. That was odd. All right. Uh, yeah, drop some gemstones on the ground. Oh, there's too <laughs> There's too much stuff here. Yeah. It's like gambling. Oh no, you dropped. You've dropped too many things. We have just a pile of stuff. All right. Keep going into the eastern mines. We know there is. Right, we're gonna waste battle bosses. We know there's a pylon right here. Yeah, I'll have, I'll have to keep curing. All right. There's another one up there. All right. Uh, wait right there. And wait here. You can peek your head around this corner. Right. Nothing right there right now. Let's go see. Oh, trash. Okay. Wait, step around, give him two hits. All right, oh, there's another one. All right, we'll wait here. We'll just come back for those gems and uh, crystals. Man, we are not. Uh, Bring a lot of essence if we can't do two haste and two um, battle blessings. All right. Okay. All right. That's one more. Yep, there's one. Move up. Step around the corner. Wait, wait. Give him two good hits. up here. I carefully move up. Alright. Nothing down there. Alright, so we'll wait here because we don't want him to accidentally trigger something. You can wait here. Oops, don't want to do that. I accidentally tapped a key. Uh, might be something in this corner. Let's go see. Peek around. No, nothing in that corner. Okay. Good to know. Of him scout around this corner. Just more lava floors. Very unfortunate. Wait right here. Very surprised. So it's just lava floors every oh there's the pylon. Alright. Back up. Come forward. 
zip around. Two big hits. All right. Oh, there's a pile on over there. So every everything's just lava floors, right? That must be the way out, because there's one of those little sort of like uh, obelisks that give you instructions. Which means we want to kind of come explore down here. But there's no way of turning these lava floors off, unfortunately. Another pylon. All right, uh, we'll wait right here. Oh, uh, my character took no damage. That's interesting. They only stop creations. Very strange. Alright, wait there. You wait there. Go ahead and heal him. Big hits on the pylon. Okay, we've got a chest. Oh. Another pylon up here. Iron Core West. Okay, here's a an entrance. Go ahead and run him back up here, though. Let's see if there's any more pylon. Oh, there's another one this way. Right, wait there. You come up and wait here. Right, step back. You may find this a little cheesy, but it beats having to go in now because we keep running out of uh, out of essence. Besides, the uh, the game designer definitely put some trolley things in, so I don't mind che cheesing his uh, little like traps. Or so oh, there's another. Um, Small medical station, the mines must have been a dangerous place for the survivals to work. No kidding, all these security pylons. What does this say? Processing. Okay. Good move. Oh, that's line of sight. We will wait. Oh no. Uh, all right, we're going to wait. Our uh, haste is worn off. Can we do this without? Yes, OK. Not using a full AP, so we still get our two attacks. All righty. There's nothing around here. We'll go ahead and end combat since our haste is wearing off. Uh, we haven't gotten a lot of experience from that. 86 pounds still. Yeah, we're getting 5 experience per pylon. Alright. Go ahead and quick save before we step on something and get ourselves killed. Uh huh. Two little tools, rough crystal, curing pods. How about that?
All right, yeah, before we, let's go see what this is. It's a large, elaborate piece of shaper machinery. It was very well made, and when the island was abandoned, it was covered with a thick layer of protective oil. Thus, despite its advanced age, it seems to be in working condition. Fortunately, you know enough about machinery to take a guess at how it works. There is a tray that slides out. It has five depressions in it, probably for the stones or crystals it processes. You know that shapers use machines like this to process magically charged crystals into useful items. Fortunately, you don't have enough stones to fill the tray. Leave the machine alone. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens. Small lever. There's a lever here shielded from nearby machinery by a thick stone wall. Small sign, but lever simply reads process. All right, we're gonna leave the lever alone. All right, I have a feeling that uh, we can. So I'm pretty sure you can use those rough crystals to make crystals like this. But uh, if I remember correctly, and this may be a different game. That one takes five, and there's one further along that takes much more that we will come back and use to uh, make something really powerful. All right, what are we at? Wait, what is 92? Okay, we're going to have to carry all this stuff over to the door and just set it down. Need to remember to come back through here. And pick up all the crystals and gemstones. Right, we need to check out that apothecary section. A dagger. Uh, not what we really care about. Oh. Shielding, curing, healing. We'll take it. Let's... All right. Before we leave this area, though, we're going to want to drop four of those, drop nine of those. Uh, right, and we picked up a few of these. We'll drop four of these. And... You know what? How many, how many of these are there? Oh, four. I was going to say, if we had five, maybe we go back in. The defenses are definitely active. Probably going to... Ah, uh, of course. Ouch. You know, we're not even... We're not going to cure him, we're just going to hit heal once it wears off. Two heals, I guess. Alright, we may need to... See, we have... Uh, do our little uh, careful exploring. Alright, we'll check out that cabinet later. Have this... Bottom quadrant. Okay, wrong direction. <laughs> like, oh, uh, we uh, took a wrong turn. Right, pile in there. None visible here, so he can wait right there for now. Uh, step up to this corner. And just wait. Step around, give him the old two tap. I feel like that wasn't actually giving us oops that hard of a hit to add the um what's it called back on? Oh no, we're in range of the pylon. Add the battle blessing. Uh, let's step over here. Good. Hit him up with a heal. 
wait, step forward, and take out this pylon. Oh no. Alright, well, two chances. Alright, good job. Well, maybe it was enough to, uh... Alright. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right on the edge. Oh yeah. Okay, okay. All right, scout for it a little bit more. There's another pylon. You can duck in this room. Oh, that was a little closer than uh, I was wanting to see. All right, wait there, wait there. The old two tap. Ooh, yeah, not good. All right, you throw a couple of them this way. Good. Okay, I think we've explored everything. Take a look at the map, I see no unexplored sections. Bunch of crystals all throughout the map. Yep, there's another one. So if you're playing through and you want to uh, hang on to those crystals, because I mean, I don't know that. I think this five one will just give you like a standard icy crystal, but I think there's a much more powerful one further into the mines. Lots of living tools here. Right. Nope, don't walk over those. Just come get these crystals. Very interesting that there is no way to turn the defenses off. You just, at least not from this side, you just have to barrel through and destroy them. However, we didn't, uh, we didn't try pulling the lever or anything on the machine, but I'm pretty sure it just, uh, All right, it just uh, activates that little uh, machinery. Oh, the mine core. Okay, so wait, we didn't... We haven't deactivated the defenses. That seems unfortunate. Did we miss something? There was no light control room other than this, but that should have, yeah, all right. Mine core, we have to set a bunch of our stuff down. 20 gemstones, oh, that's gonna be a good payday. So I wanna just walk over and we're, right, we're completely out of, uh, put seven of these down. We are completely out of essence. So that was the Eastern mines. We're still in danger. There's probably more pylons around and we'll have to deal with those the next time. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.